past one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm finally getting up, getting myself together. I was up earlier this morning. My mom took me to go get my car um, because it was at the hospital and I had to pick up the kids from Kenny's and get them ready so they could go to school. So they are at school. But after I did all that, I went and I took a nap. Now it's after one o'clock, I need to get ready. Um, so I can get them from school. They get out of school at 2.50. But um, I was trying to see if I can go to Bath and Body Works before they go to, before I have to pick them up. If not, I'll go after because they're going to Kenny's after school for a couple hours because he gets them Wednesdays for a couple hours. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm still not, my mind is still not fully together yet. I'm going to do my hair when I get out the shower, but I can't have the carrot top. <laughs> look going so I'm just getting my hair ready to get in the shower but um I forgot what I was saying I can't even remember uh but I'm still not 100% when they put that morphine drip in there y'all that morphine drip is no joke when they give you that morphine I was out of it I looked back at the footage and I was like, oh my God, I was out of it. Like, I couldn't keep my eyes open. Even the doctor, when she came back in, like whenever I came like to and woke up, she was like, yeah, you're a real lightweight on medication, aren't you? I, you were out immediately. I was like, yeah, I, I don't handle medication very well, like at all. Um, that's why I say I don't take my other medicines and stuff when the kids are up because I'm going to go to sleep. I already know. So it's not a safe thing for me to do when my kids are awake, you know? So that's why I take them at night if I need them. And if I don't need them, I don't take them at all because I'm just a very, very lightweight with medication. And that was even before the surgery. Like I was like this before weight loss surgery. So this didn't happen because of weight loss surgery. I've been like this my whole life. So I'm just using a curls, aloe and blueberry juice curl moisturizer to spray throughout my hair. I'm going on Saturday to get my hair done. Praise Jesus. I'm just gonna get the curls put back in because I really like those curls. They were cute and they last a long time. So she's just gonna put the curls back in. I'm borrowing Grace's brush, Moana. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bothering, I'm borrowing her brush to do my hair just to get, you know, the curl just through it. But yeah, these curls lasted quite some time and it still got some bounce to it. So I just sprayed my hair and she like gets the stuff on it. What I get in the shower. But yeah, I feel like I'm still like out of it. Like, look at the nails I broke when everything happened. Like, this is broke here. This one's broke off. This one is coming up here. Like, I messed up so many of my nails. So on Friday, um, I went to go get my nails redone. I want to get these all taken fully off and get something else um, done. And it sucks because my feet it's the same design and everything as my hand, but oh well, they're just not gonna be matching no more. So I'm gonna get something shorter just in case if something like this happens again. And someone told me about looking into MS, had my doctor check for that. And when I go to the specialist um, for the nerve, the nervous system specialist, um, I am gonna ask that question so they can do testing for that. Um, cause I looked up a lot of the symptoms of it and it kind of seems similar to what I have going on. So I am going to have them check for that. So guys, I'm going to get ready. Um, I'll see you guys in the car because I'm going to need a coffee so I can get my energy up. No 7-Eleven coffee though. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We're going to go where we usually go to the norm. So I know I don't have any issues. So anyway. That, that's what's going on this morning. Crazy starts in the morning. Crazy end of yesterday. But we're going to try to get normal. Oh, y'all, and I got this during the 21 Days of Beauty. This foundation is so good. One of my subscribers was like, no, nah, I'm waiting for the 21 Days of Beauty when they do the discount on the, I don't know, even know how to say it, Uma foundation, the Say What Weightless Soft Matte. 
This foundation is amazing. Matches my skin perfectly. I had it on yesterday. I had it on yesterday. Why do you think my skin looks so good in the video? That's what I was like. My skin was popping. My face looked good. And then here I can. I can't even record that because I, I done fell out. I'm like, this ain't fair. Like, but anyway, I'm going to put it on again today because today we're going to feel halfway normal. So, today let go. look simple basic just wanted to get ready okay calvin klein shirt is a crop top calvin klein biker shorts and i have on calvin klein slides so a whole calvin klein look today i'm so happy a subscriber told me about it because it looks really really good i love that foundation love it so i'm about to go get my coffee because i need some energy like i am not feeling today whatsoever i want to crawl in the bed and sleep but I know I have things that have to get done because like Aunt Flo's in town. I just used my last pad. I have to go to the store. Christian needs a couple more um, packs of pull-ups because I can get a dollar back on Ibotta. And yes, Christian wears pull-ups. And the reason why is because at night, I don't like to take that risk of him wet in the bed. So uh, I do the pull-ups at nighttime. I'm going to be stopping those as soon as he turns five in a couple weeks. Um, and it's going to be wake up in the middle of the night, go potty, make him go potty. But you know, we've been doing the strictly at night only pull up thing for a while. I just got my coffee. Hopefully here in a few minutes, I'll start to feel like myself. I know I look like myself, right? Kind of, but I think you can tell in my eyes that if I think if people really pay attention in people's eyes, you can see like how they feel, you know, by their eyes. But some people have some sad looking eyes all the time. That's just how they are. But I can tell by looking in my eyes that I am not myself but I'm going to portray that on the outside because you do what you gotta do kind of thing. I had a video go up on my main channel today. Like I couldn't even be in it because I was laying in the bed the whole time I filmed it. Like the whole time I uh, did the voiceover. So I was in bed. Um, so thank goodness Bath & Body Works always has something to talk about because if not, I would have no video today. But I got to get this afternoon's video because I really do want to go to the sales. And I'm really going to go. And I just feel like I look so swollen. But I know I'm swollen because it's flow time. But still, I just feel swollen, swollen. <sighs> so I have to figure out what I can do about it. I'm on Lasix, though. Like, my doctor put me on Lasix. It's supposed to help with the swelling. Um, I didn't take none today. But I'm going to make sure I take some this afternoon. Well, later on this afternoon. And that house was swelling uh, to take down the areas of swelling I have. But right now, we're just gonna head over to the mall because it's almost two. And by 2.20, I need to be making my way to the school to pick up the kids. So I'm gonna get to the mall and I'm going to film, you know, the clearance area. I'm gonna film the mist. And if there's anything like really, really new to see, I'm gonna film that too. And then I'm going to jump back in the car and just film the mist that I pick up. And then boom, that's this evening's video. Um, but I'm tired. <laughs> and then after I get the little kids, I'm going to drop them off to Kenny's. And then I have to go to the grocery store. And I'm going to just go to Walmart too. Yeah, because I got to get my medicine from Walmart. Then I'm like, well, if I'm gonna go to Walmart, why don't I get my groceries at Walmart? I just don't like Walmart's groceries. Something, mm, something off about they, they, their produce section. So I'd rather go to the local HEB. So that's what I'm gonna do. But anyway, I'm going to focus on this road and turn on my trap music and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so I am here. I am not feeling it. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, my car, I hate when my car does that. I'm here. I'm not feeling this at all. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not. And I think one thing is really funny and I want to talk about it real quick is my mom be in the comments and I know she's seeing this. My mom be in the comments like she ain't just seen me this morning. Mom, it help me get better soon. You just seen me this morning. You don't want to tell me to get my car. Really mom? Like my mom be all in the comments like she really <laughs> like don't see me every day go down. <laughs> I be reading her on the comments. I be like, Mom, really? You the one who brought me to my car. I mean, like, you got me a Starbucks this morning. Like, really? So, <laughs> I think that's so funny. <laughs> I had to point that out. But, um, I'm here. I'm gonna go and, um, put on my, my smile. 
get this video done because work has to be done work is work and work has to get done and um go get the little kids so i'm dreading going in here but the you know the the only good thing about this not feeling well is that i'm not gonna go overboard i'm gonna do what i need to and i'm gonna get out i'm getting get out because i don't feel good so okay let's turn into true meaning of radiance let's go All right, so I dropped the little kids off for going grocery shopping. You know, everybody, when they go to grocery shopping, they only show the produce area and they do show only the healthy food. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to act like I eat clean every day of the week, which is a lie. Lies, just lies. But, you know, yeah, I always start in this area anyway when I go into the H-E-B and then um, I go into the inner aisles because you always should start from the outer part of the store before you go in the aisles. Just in case you guys didn't know. But yeah, but I did get a lot of healthy stuff this time. I didn't get a lot of junk um, just due to the fact that we don't need it. Like the biggest junk food we have in here um, is goldfish. That was the biggest junk food I bought while I was at the store was some goldfish. So I'm really proud of myself, of the shopping that I did for this trip. But it's funny when you get all this healthy stuff, um, you go home and you like, man, I want a burger. <laughs> But I did buy some turkey patties um, and some turkey burgers that are already made. And Justin likes the turkey burgers. I like them. Grace likes them. Christian, he's just not a big meat eater unless it's chicken nuggets. So, yeah. But that's just the stuff that's already like meals that's pre-cooked that H-E-B serves, which I think is pretty cool. Because all you have to do is put it in the oven and you can eat it from there. And then they had like this buffalo chicken. They had other type of rotisserie chicken. And I love buying it. Like I bought the um, the H-E-B buffalo chicken salad and I made it today. Well, we had it today. Justin tore up half the container, y'all. He ate up half the container. Another quick, easy thing I buy at the grocery store is the bacon that's already cooked, the thick bacon, because it's less calories than regular. And then on top of that, you just pop it in the microwave, and then after 30 seconds, it's ready to go. And they'll have it with a waffle or with a bagel and some eggs, and then boom, you got a home-cooked breakfast. So I get that. And the HEB, they have deals all the time. Like if you buy one item, you'll get five free. So I bought the Stouffer's lasagna and I got five free side things to go with it and one of the side things I got a dollar 25 cash back on Ibotta for a free item I got at the grocery store anyway so guys finally home I am about to start getting the kids ready for bed it's 6 24 they watch tv for about an hour and then I start getting ready for bed I am so tired right now I'm so tired y'all the pain is coming back on my uh, left arm, like it's going numb again. So it's like, I guess the morphine that they gave me at the hospital is starting to wear off. So this arm is starting to go numb again. And I do not like that at all. Um, but the pain on the right side is not coming back right now. So yay, that's a plus. Um, but my left side is going numb, which I hate. Like, I don't know why it keeps doing that. So the neurologist is the appointment I can't wait for because I want to know why my left side keeps going numb. I'm not having a stroke or nothing like that. Even at the ER, they checked that yesterday. They're like, okay, we're not worried about you having a stroke. That's not what's going on here. So why does my left side keep going numb? That's a question for a neurologist. And I can't wait to finally get the answer. So I'm in this vlog. Um, telling you guys good night. I hope you guys have a good night. I'm gonna be calling it a night early and probably be asleep by 7:30. I hope um, because as soon as I lay the kids down, I'm gonna go ahead and take um, a muscle relaxer, and those knock me out like within 30 minutes. So I love you guys. <laughs> See you in the next vlog. See you tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Because if I forget to brew it, or if I forget to steep it, or you know, if I'm uh, out and about and I can't take it, I was missing days. So it was working for me when I would take it, but of course, if you're not taking it consistently, then it's not gonna give you the results that you're looking for.